let's create a function to create these options. So we can use it many places if we need to. So I'll go create function, get options. I need the array to create the options, right? You have to have a list of the element in the array. So I'll pass the array, which in this case is color, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I just copy this code and paste it into the body of this function. Look at this. Okay, now, instead of echoing this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save this option into a variable, then return the variable at the end, okay? I save this into a variable, and then return the variable. So I'll go ahead and create a variable called options equal empty string. And then instead of doing echo, I will do what? What should I do? Return. Not return, I'm preparing options dot equal, right? I gotta uh, append to the end of this variable. And then at the end I will say return options. When you do this, I want you to go back to your code Take that for loop, just copy, and call the function instead. So call this function, pass the array to generate the options for you. Did anybody finish this? Did you create the function? Did you call the function? Yes? Anybody? Here you go. I'm calling the function instead of doing the for loop, right? Well, obviously, this function return the options, I have to do echo. So if I go back here, still works the same way, right? I did, when you submit, it's going to be refreshed, right? Here you go. So I want this function to create the whole list. The very first thing is, I gotta go and say select name equal color, okay? Then when I send the option or return the option, I just have to close the select tag, correct? So my function now can create the whole select statement. What is wrong with this? What is wrong with this function? Look at the name of the drop down. What is it? It's hard coded. Can I use this function for any other dropdown? No. So what should I do? I've got to make it dynamic. In order to make it dynamic, what do I need to do? Pass another I have to pass another variable. I have to pass the name of the dropdown. Is that correct? So I'm going to pass that one and then use the name. So here I will say this is the array and I'll pass the name. Now here, instead of doing this, somebody get the name down there. Here you go. Anytime you want drop down, pass the array, give a name, it will return you the whole drop down list. So right now, if you look at this code, right, the one I have here, I just have to pass the name. I'll call it color or anything you want, right? Look at the code. If I view the source right now and refresh, do you see any difference? It did create the name and return me the whole select statement, right? You see that? No change. Because I made the function in a way that it can create anything. Look at this. I'll go create another one. I'll go here and I will say create numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send an array of numbers. One, two, three, forty-four. Uh, five, 
right? I'm sending the array. Let me just remove this side. And I'll call it number. Let's go back to our browser. Here you go. Do you see that? So I need a dynamic function that can create a drop down anytime I need to. Now here, instead of me creating an array, I'm just passing an array. You can do it like this too, right? You understand this. So if I look at the source code right now, here you go. This is the name is color, and the other one is number. Does that make sense? When I go to this page, I select the color red, submit, right? It gets the color, it changes the text color for me. I select yellow, 